Hi guys, if you watched my previous video on Firefox Monitor, I mentioned the way to take action if your information has been leaked by a company. We're all guilty of opening accounts and forgetting about them, or think we've closed them. This website on screen finds all those accounts for you, and a couple of clicks tells those companies to close down your account and erase all data about you. This will reduce what's called your digital footprint on the internet to make it harder for hackers to find you. Let's jump in and I'll show you how to use it. By the way, best of all, it's free. Okay, first things first, open your browser, your favorite browser, and then just go to the address bar at the top and then type in saymine.com. I'll put the link in the description below for you to make it a bit easier. And you should come to this page with the ostriches on it. Uh, so the future of data ownership. The way you get started with this website is you just click the get started button. The way you get started with this website is you click the get started button. And then there's a little short animation you go through. So just click next and then uh, next again. And there's a little mini survey here. I think you can guess how many companies hold your data. So uh, I'm going to say a lot. Uh, click next. Finally, when you get to this page, click Let's Go. And so then you get to the sign in page. So what you're going to do, you can either sign in with Google, sign in with Microsoft, or sign in with Yahoo. I'm going to sign in with a Microsoft account, but you can sign in with whichever is yours. This will bring you to your dashboard. Once you're on your dashboard, it gives you kind of an overview like this. I've already started this process. I was playing with it before the video, just to get an idea. So you get the overview of the ones that need your attention. Uh, 23 companies that hold your data. Yours might be more than this or less, depends on how long you've had your email account. Uh, your data ownership gives you kind of percentage and your activity in the last seven days. And um, you can change this drop down box as well. So the last 60 days, this is a fairly new account. So what you need to do is go across to my footprint and this shows you all the different companies that have information on you and say you didn't want one of these to have the particular information all you've got to do is click on reclaim and what it'll show you is actually your risk of being breached so this one's in the yellow some of them are in the green it's up to you if you want to reclaim those I tend to do the ones in the yellow and the red. So then you click reclaim. And what that does, it automatically sends them an email requesting your information be removed from their service. You should get an email in two to three days later to the email address you signed in with. So the other one you can go to after this, once you've done all these reclaims and you've been through every single one, you go down to my reclaims here. And then down here we've got all the different ones that I've asked to reclaim. It's quite a few different ones. I decided to clean up my own digital footprint. It's just literally by clicking the reclaim button on the previous page. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You will get responses for them. And if you click on the overview, and then uh, there are some that need attention. So some companies will actually request further information. So you click on complete requests. And then just scroll down the different ones, wait for the response to load. So this just gives you an idea of a basic one. I'll blur out some of the details obviously because it's confidential, but you get the idea. Basic outlay of an email they'll send out to the company. It's pretty much the standard email, just different email addresses. So now these companies no longer hold any of my information, which is pretty great. Okay, once you've done, you just click up the top corner up here. And then uh, click on sign out, log out. If you want to, you can click on spread the word or feedback. You can give them feedback on the site if you find something's not working properly. Spread the word is about literally letting other people know about it. So feel free to either click the copy the referral link or tweet about it or share my video so everybody knows about it. Once you're on this page, just click the X and go back to the top corner. And don't forget to log out. I'll take you back to the, the main page you were on when you started. Hope this is useful. I'll catch you in the next one.